Alright, here's my uh, planted uh, aquarium. This is a 125 gallon. Also known as my uh, native tank or Minnesota native tank. <clears throat> Got a lot of vegetation growing in there right now. Starting to look good. I want to get more growing up, but a lot of that is hornwort in there. Uh, that stuff just grows super fast and uh, I'm enjoying it. Alright, let's get up close and take a look at some of this stuff in here. I'm going to turn the light up a little bit so we can see. Yeah, there's my largemouth right there. He's 10 inches right now. He's getting big, you know, little guy still, but he's a uh, pretty big for in the tank. He's still got room though. Got a really nice piece of driftwood in here. I just love this piece so much. Then we got the crappies. Always chilling under the lumber here. Those guys just love hanging under the lumber. They will be there almost all day. Just shoaled up. This is my little guy, my little largemouth. I don't know how long he is. I haven't measured him for a while. He's got some really nice pumpkin seeds in here. These guys, just, these guys are just beautiful. Got two of them in here. And they got some. They look really good uh, with the green in the background. Yeah, so I'm not really into the plant growing too much, but I like to have the, the live vegetation in there. I think it's just awesome to have that in there, even though it's not really a part of the native theme. But, uh, so I'm not the best at it or just not as interested in it. So I just go with the hornwort in the back there and that stuff just grows like crazy. And uh, these big guys, they'll rip through it sometimes when they're chasing minnows around and stuff. And that's fine. I just will just replant most of it. And it just, it grows so fast. I got two LED strips up here. So, uh, yeah, I, I've been enjoying having that in there. Had this big bass for about uh, over a year now, actually. I just I had him when he was two inches, so... He's looking really good. These guys stay really active. They're always swimming around. At least half of them are always swimming around. So uh, it's always super fun to watch these guys. couple perch in here as well and I got a pleco he's usually hanging out in the rocks back here keeping to himself Get you guys a side shot here. Oh, yeah. well, now the now the crappies are moving around a little bit. Bluegill in here as well. He's got a little color to him, but not. It's pretty dark bluegill. He's good. He's healthy fish, though. So, yeah, I feed these guys live bait most of the time. So, just minnows, fatheads. Sometimes they get goldfish. Uh, just freeze dried krill. So, they get a good variety. Sometimes, you know, earthworms. I'll go and pluck them out of the yard. 
bugs, but usually it's uh, fat heads just because they get the most out of it and they're uh, cheap, at least where I'm, where I'm living right now. I know for some people it can be expensive. Get you guys another shot of the full tank again here. Hopefully I'm not shaking the camera too much. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. The planted 125 native tank.